Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to World of Tanks. Um, I may have mentioned that I play this, but I hadn't really done anything specific on it, but they've now given me a reason to do videos. Um, they've brought out the new Domination uh, game mode, um, which you'd probably guess by the title. And I have decided that I would like to cover that, because it's a fairly new thing, people may not know a lot about it, and may wish to know about it. And even that, it is a fantastic game mode that I think people need to know about because it changes the whole dynamic of how this game plays. Um, you know, example, normally in a game you have 15 on 15, you will end up with campers sitting at the back, waiting on the enemy team coming to them. You will have um, the people who seem to know what they're doing going up to the front and doing something, and then the guys that rush forward and get themselves killed. In Domination, you have more of the latter two. <laughs> You still have people running forward and getting themselves killed, but you have a plus side. You're no longer restricted to the one tank, as in jump into the game, get killed, that's game over. You now have the option, once you've died, you get, I think it's 15 seconds to sit, calm yourself down, because <laughs> you've probably ra tried to rage quit by this point, um, and then you get to pick one of these three machines. First one, which is personally my favourite, is the Object 140, Domination Edition. Which is the important part here, because you can't use these tanks in regular games. If I was to click battle right now, I'd go into a domination mission. Whereas if I jump into a Zug, for example, that's the closest spawn, um, I will go into a random battle, or whichever battle I choose. If go into a domination, you specifically have to pick these vehicles. Now, the second one, which is... I'm not a huge fan of this machine, personally. It's just down to the reload time, but... Meh. Might just be me, I don't know a lot about the machine yet, I've never actually played it. Um, on random battles, but this is the T125 and the AMX 50B, another machine that I do like. Um, one thing that I found quite interesting about this is your crew comes immediately with a hundred percent, and you can already give them skills, which is nice. And these count as premium tanks because they're tier 10; they're fully upgraded. Oh, not premium tanks, sorry, um, elite tanks. So you can just use the experience as you wish. I didn't realize that, but I've accelerated their training. Because I don't have gold, so there is no need for me to worry about that. So, without further ado, we shall jump in. Okay, so this is into while recording this. Uh, I have played it a few times. I think I have five or six games under right now. Uh, and the teams, I don't seem to be getting 15 to 15. I don't know if it's limited or not. I haven't really read into it. I just know what I've seen. Uh, so... As you can see from the map, which I'll expand a little bit, we have the flag in the middle. Uh, the red icons are where the enemy has to take the flag, the green icons are where we have to take the flag. And those orange icons are repair points. You sit in there for five seconds, you get all of your health and ammunition back. Um, but you can only use that once every minute. Um, so like, you use it for the five seconds that you're in there, you then have to wait 60 seconds, and then you can go back again. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is immediately head in this direction to cover guys going up to the hill, it will give me some shots back over there and shots over onto the lighthouse. Um, I played this map before and I had great success using the AMX, so I'm hoping with this thing's really bouncy turret I should get good shots being able to be hauled down. I naturally missed my first shot. But being hauled down in this machine is how to win these game modes because, especially with the AMX 50Bs, if you force them to unload their ammunition into your turret, and you unload your own ammunition to a rock, they then have that 30 seconds where you get a window to turn around and start pummeling shots into them. That was the first damaging shot I took. Um, unfortunately, I appear to not be as well hauled down as I thought I was, because that went straight through the side armor just there, annoyingly. So I may need to find a slightly... I think if I move slightly further left, I'll be more hauled down. Um, I don't want to live for too long because I do want to demonstrate the respawn feature. I do want to be able to show some of this game's features off. I do not claim to be a good player, so anyone who criticizes me, you are more than welcome to do so. I am not fantastic. Uh, and with your respawns, you get your consumables back. You also get your consumables if you use the repair. Um, something I've noticed... Oh, okay. Something I have noticed is the reward system isn't the same 
Like in these games, I can do seven or eight thousand damage with no difficulty whatsoever. But I don't get rewarded like I would if I was playing a random battle because I respawn, so do they. It's easier for me to do that because there's not that limited health pool for the enemy team. Whereas there is a limited health pool in this. And also a very scared and surrounded me. Oh, well. Oh no. Oh, now I get to show you the respawn feature. Oh. I think falling back down this hill may be a foot. That was a very lucky bounce. Please don't take my tracks off. Right. One thing I do like about this game mode is you can just change position on the map. I mean, it's not a random battle. There's no need for you to be pushing one offensive. I mean, obviously, you need to get the flag. You need to keep the enemy team from the flag point. However, there's nothing stopping you just changing flank and moving around. Um, the matches seem to be relatively well timed. There is a time limit, so you can't just play forever. But there is nothing to stop you just winning the game in minutes. I cannot kill this guy, and I'm going to die now. Yep. Okay, well, now we get to show you the respawn feature. When you die, you get those few seconds to pick your tank. The tank you were just in, um, you can't just jump straight back into. Uh, so that forces a variation of vehicles, which I quite, I think that's a good idea. Um, and like I said, this is a game mode that... This game sorely needed this faster-paced, more we-need-to-be-moving-around kind of action. The enemy team, I believe... Yep, see their points jumped up by 35 there? That T-1025 got to the flag point. Which means we need to scare this side a little bit better. I saw him up on the hill earlier, and I thought he would be held off. Evidently, the team didn't quite oblige me. Go for his universally known weak spot. Far the side of the turret, as it is, that works too. I need to be careful because I only have two shots left, and I may only... Be able to, I will only be able to kill him in these two shots, so... Ah, ah. Okay, well that didn't work out. Let's get into cover. And hope that the T-125 behind me decides to help. Because that's the only disadvantage I find with this machine. It's lack of armor, well, only two disadvantages, lack of armor and long reload. Other than that, this is a fantastically powerful machine. And it's perfect for this game mode. It's mobile, does a bunch of damage very quickly. Um, and is more than capable of finishing off opponents very quickly. I mean, you've got those four shots that do very high damage. Um, currently, we have a flag runner now. Uh, sorry, I've changed from the tank to game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push with him. And try and hold off the enemy. Because if he dies, he drops the flag. And that's then free for anyone to pick up. So I'm going to sweep round and ignore enemies that aren't an immediate threat to him. And then ram this guy because I've realized I've done this wrong. He does have the health pool to get there, but unfortunately he got killed on the way. I can't do anything now and I'm very in a bad position. Maybe pushing up this far wasn't such a good idea and I did miss my shots. I'm not sure if this is the frontline push vehicle. It may be quick and maneuverable, but I think this is the kind of vehicle that, in this game mode, you don't use it right up on the front line, because if you screw up your shots, and it is a very fast-paced kind of environment, so you screw up your shots, you're dead. Um, I will auto-aim this, because there's no way I'm going to kill him. Ah, damn. Okay, well, hopefully we still win. This is very, very close on points. Um, Points-wise, actually, you only get one point for a kill, but you do get um, 35 points for a flag capture, and it's 150 points to win. Oh, sorry, this game seems to be 100 points to win. Um, so it, it's obviously far more beneficial to capture flags than to kill enemy tanks, which, again, forces a type of gameplay. It forces you to like, you can still do as much damage and kills as you want, that's obviously important, but it forces players to focus on the objective. You can't dawdle, you can't pretend that the game mode allows you to just sit and do what you feel like. You have to play this 
properly constructed. And one thing I do quite like, because this is a performance thing, is destroyed tanks, when the player respawns, the tank is destroyed. I said that quite soon. Yeah, the tank's destroyed, which means for people with low performing PCs, you don't have to worry about um, large numbers of entities hanging around. Because they're all cleared up. That was a very bad situation for me two seconds ago. And hopefully, this is going to be one of the longer videos that I put up um, for a little while. Uh, hopefully, it's still nice and quick enough for you guys to enjoy. Hopefully, being longer doesn't make it any less enjoyable. Hope you guys still do enjoy my videos. If you have any recommendations, please do let me know. I am happy to comment, happy to take suggestions. And actually, I think I will leave this one here because it is getting a bit drawn out. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like. If you wish to see more videos that may or may not be tank related, but you might enjoy them anyway, please do subscribe. As always, I shall meet you in the next one.